Yo, what up? It's Aaron Moses. Gang, look, man. This is uh, mom leaves her kids, her three kids alone in the house without food or AC. <laughs> Let's see what it do. Gang, gang. Yeah, I didn't feel safe here. I don't feel safe here. And she do this every single night. So where did she go? With her boyfriend. She got multiple men, I think. I don't know. She got missed with five dudes. Wait a minute, bro. This is the oldest child saying this? Oh, oh, no. my, my, my truck went down as he was calling me. Oh, my, my phone God. went completely dead. Wait a minute. What did her shirt say? I left my... As he was calling me. House for this? You a bum just for that shirt. The mother. She's not a mom. She's a, she with some kids. My phone went completely dead. She got this 1997. What's that? A Chrysler? Jeep? I mean, not Jeep minivan. She's shaped like that car, though. I'm well good for that. She knows how to coordinate. Let's go. Right, come, on. <laughs> come on, man. On July the 14th of 2024, police receive mm -hmm. a distressing call from a 15-year-old girl who reported that her mother, 30-year-old Letitia Davis, had left the night before without telling her where she was going. The teenager... <laughs> this is a ghetto situation. ...to explain that she had walked to a nearby gas station to make the call, as she and her two younger brothers, ages one and three, were left alone Ooh. at the home with no working air conditioning and no food. The girl Jeez. also mentioned that the refrigerator contained only milk, and there was no other food in the house. The report states that the house was 90 degrees. Oh. No, see, the report states the house was 90 degrees. I don't I'm sorry if I missed what state and city this was in, but that's tough, bro. Shoot, July 14th, it's gonna be 94 degrees to damn near anywhere in America. My mother, she's been gone. Well, she just left this morning, and now I just text her. Wait, it said last night, well, maybe like 3 o'clock in the morning. Let's go, man. Well, let me tell you, let me tell y'all something. The reason she why I call. a masculinized voice, bro. Where is the father? Dog, and for me, my brother's safety. I do not want to be here. She's messing with a couple of dudes, and I'm not sure if they're dangerous or not. Look, sir, I just don't know. I'm 15 years old. I You're 15? Yes, I'm 15. Do you have... I'm 15. Uh, Mississippi, Alabama, Texas, Tennessee. I'm not sure. I'm, re I'm more so towards the east. Maybe not Texas. Maybe. Your dad? Yeah, my dad. I just text. I, I, the only way I can come take him is on um, TikTok. And I on TikTok? What kind of nigga is that? Does, the he have, police. does he have a phone number? I don't know. Let me go take him right quick. What's his name? Timothy White. Damn. So there's nobody here right now other than just you two? She be, she, be, she be leaving every single night. We fight all the time. I be, so I be here by yourself with the kids? Yeah, with the kids. I got the little baby and him right here. Who's, are these your siblings? Yes, these my siblings. My siblings, whatever. Your siblings or whatever? She needs to go back to school, bro. This is terrible. Oh, this is messed yep. up. Do you mind if we come inside, buddy? Mm -hmm. Do you mind if we come inside? Hello, buddy. We need her permission at that point. Hello. Do you want to camera her vehicle? I'm going to walk camera her everywhere. Why do they got an exhaust in the ceiling? That's weird. Like a kitchen? Y'all sure see that? Right here. This. That's supposed to be for kitchens. Or maybe I'm just crazy. I don't know. She got all, look at all the little thought decor. She got a little trinkets. The little thotty decor. Let's go. If you, This is a red flag. This is a red flag. All the little bitches on, on Pop the Plume. This is what all their living rooms look like. The ones, the ones that ask, how do you deal with conflict? That's how all their living rooms look like. On Phantom Gray. Cole. He's Cole? Yeah, he's cold. He's cold? Yeah. That's not cold in there. That baby's diaper is three pounds right now. Ten pounds. I'll tell y'all where you stay. I ain't got a phone. 
Does he stay here in Sherman? She said a one year old and a one year old. I'm gonna call DHS. And I already got my school pen. She do this every single Damn. She got that fat ass TV, but no food. Oh. And then I threatened her. Hey, Lauren. I'm at a residence on Mildred. The mother is abandoning her 14 year old with her other two small children here. Nobody knows where she's at. Take that. Sir, I'm, I'm not staying here. If y'all leave me here, I'm running away. I'm running away. Okay, all right. Nope. Hey, you just wanted to be picked up, huh? Y'all, I have a one year old. He's about to be two. I don't want to hear other niggas' kids crying, to be honest with you. I should have known that at some point that this was going to happen, but I don't want to hear this shit. <laughs> He just wanted to be picked up. It's okay. No, he's hungry, bro. I know you got some donuts in your car or something, bro. You got some chili cheese fries or some chips. Damn, you already know what this dude. Oh, All right. All right, little friend. All right, 870, what? One of the neighbors said she saw a baby crawl out of the house and nearly reach the road. She remarked that she would come home at 6.30 in the morning and always see one of the children standing in the road with nothing but a diaper on. Damn, she you got the whole neighborhood snitching on you? Uh, maybe at first the teenager was exaggerating saying that she left every night, but, you know, uh, there was no food in the they didn't, they didn't open the pantries. A lot of people don't like food in the refrigerator. So I, I'm just playing. That they had screamed at the children constantly. Never spoke. Koozie? Let me see what city this is. Always screamed. Uh, what's, what's the mom's name? Letitia Davis. Letitia Davis. La Thotty Thot? This is ongoing. Apparently she leaves every other day like this. This is, this is supposed to be, a, this is an ongoing issue with leaving the 15 year old in charge of the two younger ones, the three year old and the one year old. Mm. She done tried to call the cell phone a couple of times and the only way to get a hold of dad is over TikTok. Is over TikTok. Dude, you got a 15 year old and the only way that you can get in touch with your daughter and your daughter can get in touch with you is over TikTok. See, this is what we call Nasty. Why are you having why are you having a child and you can't even afford a phone? Sir, what is wrong with you? TikTok, bro? Not Facebook. Not Instagram. Not even Snapchat. Not even X. FKA Twitter. But TikTok? You gotta be. This is not funny, but Bro, you castrate this man. No, I don't want to. No, not that. That's too far. That's way too far. And I don't want to put the nigga in jail either. But you need to be rebuked. We need to we need to summon the spirit of sinful the P. And you need to have a. He probably wouldn't even want to talk to you. I'm not even going to lie to him. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine having a 15 year old daughter and telling her, how do you even feel like a man? How do you even wake up in the morning knowing every day when you're eating your honey smacks? I know you smoke weed, bro. But to know that the only way if anything should happen to you or your daughter, the only way that either one of you guys will know about that is TikTok. And I know niggas, bro. I know you got a phone, bro. 
You just want to, you, you just lack that much empathy in your heart to give your own daughter your phone number. I know you got a phone, bro, because you could get a phone for free. Before Obamacare, before the Obama phones, there was ways to get phones free. Even if you have access to Wi-Fi, even if you don't, bro, it's always a way around these things. Bro, you already have one child. That means that you know something about women. You don't that doesn't mean that you understand everything about women, but you could convince a woman to get you a phone so you can stay in contact with your daughter. And hopefully this is your only child, bro, because obviously you don't deserve you don't even deserve this one. But let's go. I got you. We just work just work. Well, we're at the, we're at the residence. Let's see what now. we can do. Okay. Give us a little time. We got to make this, this is a this is not even a ghetto situation. This is an insult to the ghetto. What's your mom's cell phone number? Oh. Oh, you could have put yourself on the baby mama's plan. Okay, that's enough. Right now. How long has she been gone since this morning? Since okay. this morning? Yeah. I called and said. What time is it now? It's 4 o'clock. To, to get y'all to come, I just told him she was gone since last night, but it's not actually what happened. I called y'all because yeah, I didn't feel safe here. I don't feel safe here. That's all you have to say. You're a child, bro. Even though the law is, I think baby uh, children could babysit uh, their siblings at the age of 12 years old. You're a female with with two children. With two. If you don't feel safe and there's, there's no AC, there's no food, there's no clean water, you don't have to lie to the police because... You you just don't, cause they could have they could have did something with you for that, which they, who knows, bro. You do this every single night. So where does she go? With her boyfriend. She got multiple men, I think. I don't know. She got messed with five dudes. Damn. And I don't feel safe for you. And we be fighting. We fight. Huh? Who'd you talk to? Oh, uh, Lauren. Yeah. She said to call that number. We fight all the time. You said the central heat and the central air is not working? No. How long has it not been working? Since yesterday. I'm 15 years old and I should choose where I want to stay. And I should stay with my father. Is there a... I know where he stayed and I know, I know where he... <laughs> Wait, how did that happen? Am I missing something? He probably told her to sweep. Is there a... There's another kid that's... Right? Aren't yeah, I got now? two more brothers. They're with their grandma right now. They're with their grandma. Okay. They've been, they've Is there been, a way that you can contact grandma? No, she ain't. That's she not. Police responded to the call that day and immediately contacted the Department of Human Services, who tried to reach the mother. DHS had previously visited the home and attempted to contact Davis, but each and every time she either hung up the phone or pretended to speak a different language. Given the situation, DHS arranged for the children to be placed in the care of their father, who stated that he had no knowledge of her whereabouts or whether she had planned to return. Her ass was probably over there shucking some corn. She was probably just over there, to be honest with you. Because why would... Hello? Hey, is this Timothy? <laughs> hey, Timmy, this is Corporal Long telling from the police department. I'm sorry, just give me one Didn't I tell you this man had a phone, man? He just didn't want to give it to her. Oh, this trash. Trash. Hello? Hello? Nigga, what are you doing, bro? Hey, this is, hey, this is Corporal Long Town at Trump Police Department. Did he call himself Mr. Tim? <laughs> so, I'm with your daughter and your son. He said, what the who? My bad, let me run it back. Hey, this is Corporal Long of Town at Trump Police Department. Truly. So I'm with your daughter and your son and Okay. Does this nigga have more kids in the background? Bro, I take that back. Give this man a vasectomy. Give him an involuntary vasectomy, bro. I'll pay for it. Send me the bill. And the Psych, don't do that. 
Mother has left them pretty much abandoned at the residence here in Truman. Truman? Yeah. And the 15 year old is taking care of the one year old and the three year old right now. Mm. I have DHS on the way coming to uh, investigate what's going on. Well, Mom hasn't been home all day today. I have no idea. And I'm from the South. I haven't been there, like, consistently for more than six months and about ten years. But I have no idea where these people are at, bro. I know they're not in Tennessee. They might be in Georgia. One of the Carolinas. Mm, Oklahoma. Maybe Kentucky. Mom hasn't been home since this morning? Yeah, she hasn't been home since this morning. According to your daughter. Oh, wow. Yeah, your daughter's been watching the one-year-old and three-year-old by herself. Well, the one-year-old, that's mine. The three-year-old, I don't even know that nigga, man. Just keep that, man. Okay. Uh, yeah, you want to talk to her? Do I need to come and get them? Yes, bitch-ass nigga. What the fuck? What? Do I need to come and get them, nigga? Are you high? Did you not hear this man? The pol Not just this man. The police say that he's in the presence of your 15-year-old daughter and a 1-year-old and a 3-year-old and DHS is on the way and they haven't seen their mother since this morning and it's 4 o'clock. Uh... E yeah, and now it's five o'clock actually. Yes, nigga, you need to come and get them. What the fuck do you mean? Do I need to come and get them? Who asked that? Oh wow. So do I need to come and get them? No, actually, you know what? No, you wherever you are. Matter of fact, yeah, what's your address so we can come lock your stupid ass up too? They're going to DHS. They might be better off, bro. What kind of question is that? What inside you as a father doesn't say, what's the address? Where are they at? They're at home right now? Oh, damn, you know what? What's your name? Can you text me this number? Uh, I'm on the way right now. What is wrong with you, bro? Do I need to come and get them? No, we need to come and get your soul and exchange that motherfucker for a whole different one. You need to go back to heaven. <laughs> get the throw the whole nigga away. I mean, I I mean DHS is involved now, and which is I mean, if there's a you see this this dude is at a loss for words. Cause what do you mean? Do I need to come and get that? I'm gonna let it play. Really do that? You can start heading this way. Thank you. Because. Yes. Um, I would I would recommend you start heading this way so you can actually talk to DHS to see what's going on. Okay, okay, okay. You see what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Pretty, pretty, pretty serious okay. matter, so. Duh. Yeah, do you want to talk to your daughter? Yes. Yeah, yeah here she is. Nah, Later that night, someone. shortly after the children were taken away, Letitia Davis returned home and would be promptly taken into custody by the police. The report says the teenager indicated her mother had done this several times before and was relieved to finally have had help. Davis now faces three counts of endangering the welfare of a minor. Which is a misdemeanor. A misdemeanor. Anything okay. could have happened to them kids. This is a misdemeanor. Where were we at today? Um, I had called my kids dad and I had let him know because he called me about my son Taylor. Mm -hmm. And uh the ambulance, I was trying to get to him because they've been at their grandma house in Jeanette. And my truck been, my truck went down as he was calling me. My phone went completely dead, and that's what I was uh talking about the lady, you know, that was on the phone, and that's what I had been telling her. Like my truck went completely down and come home trying to you know, and they just told me that my kid's dad um, got got them. Mm -hmm. So, and I couldn't even call, let them know to come help me, like nothing. Where were you so at? So you were at the hospital. So first you were in an ambulance and then you were on the way to the hospital and your phone died. 
And you couldn't let anybody to know to check on your kids? Or let them know what had transpired? Well, no, because she didn't have a phone. The little girl didn't have a phone, so it was no... Why would you... No. I was stuck on... Uh, I don't even know what the highway name is, but you I... You were stuck there, but you don't remember the name. I been stuck there. And I had left... This is Oklahoma. I left here about... It was about like 2.30. I know it was about 2.30. And that's when he was calling me, like I said, about my son, Taylor, out at their grandmother's. Okay. Where where is the where is their grandmother's? Their grandmother's in Earl. In Earl? Yes. And my he doesn't work so and everything has just Who's been, he? been down. Who's he? I said my heat. Oh my, your heat doesn't yeah, work. My heat okay. and my vehicle. And I didn't even show you the text. My landlord The heat. It's summertime, bitch. What are you talking about? He's supposed to be here to fix my AC oh, and okay. it's just like everything just been bad. Like just went bad. Pretty much. Okay. We're going to have a couple other officers come over here and talk to you. Okay. Um, DHS came by for your Yeah, kids. and I had talked to her, and she was saying she understood, and and I was just, you know, letting her know what was going on. That's called game. She was trying to get you to come your stupid ass home so they could take your dumb ass to jail. And, I, and Dad had even let her know as well. Gotcha. That I, I had been stuck. On the side of the road, so and like I said, my phone went dead, and I haven't been able to contact anybody. And I'm just getting her my phone three percent. Gentlemen, <clears throat> this I'm not gonna call her a woman or a lady. I'm gonna try to keep respect for the women and keep respect for ladies out there. This person, this female, has not one two, three, or four children. This, this creature has five children. And how does she get five children? Do you think she got artificial insemination? Do you think somebody turkey based to her? No. Somebody, one of you, five of you, well, four of you niggas, let blood escape from your heart and go to your genitals and laid up with her long enough to insert yourself in her as well as ejaculate in her. And now she has been given the responsibility that she cannot handle to reproduce and care to the best of her abilities after not one, two, three, or four, but five, five, Five. Well, no, three because two of them, she was wise enough to let them stay with somebody else, with her grandmother that's trying to live the end of her days out peacefully. Three. Well, the other two are still her responsibility. She has five children, five of them. Because of you, a lot of you. Stop giving her, stop giving her permission to disrespect the gift of motherhood. Stop doing that. What you feel temporarily is not that important, bro. It's not that important. It will never be that important. For you to give this 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 person, this creature, five opportunities to be a mother, and she blew it five times every day. Stop this foolish. This is foolish. This is ridiculous. This is dumb. Just being able to charge up my phone. Okay. Well, where you got? Look at the shirt. I left my house for this. <laughs> You're in the car? No, it's it's been in the house. It's been in the house. Yeah. It's been in the house. He's gonna go ahead and take you into custody, okay? We've got mm -hmm. we've got charges. Yes, to jail. You need to be you need to be in child protective custody too, because you're a child your damn self. But no, you're not anymore, sweetheart. You're going to jail right now, okay? Yes. Uh, no. Don't. No. No. We're not gonna wait. I can't wait to see. for the kids. For child kids. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Can I call McCall? In jail. Yes. That's what jail is for. That's why we have jail phones. Call when we get to the PD. Okay. Who's the, who's the gentleman in the back? 
Um, that's a, that's the front end. Okay. That, okay. And you got a nigga with you, bro? <laughs> Another one. She was about to get impregnated a damn again. Uh, no, she's probably pregnant right now. She's probably pregnant right now. You got a nigga. What kind of nigga will let you neglect your child while you're shucking his corn? Jeez, jeez, Louise, God like help us. And this nigga didn't have a phone. And this nigga didn't have a phone. Probably not. Your own daughter doesn't have a phone, so he doesn't have a phone. So what? What's the charge? It's gonna be early felony child endangerment. Oh, fe oh, felony, felony child endangerment. Three of them. Are. I, I, but I'm telling you guys. What state is that? Let me see if I could. <laughs> that means I, I, but I'm you guys. Hey, let me. I got the technology. I'm over here trying to play Tetris with it. Arkansas. Okay, we'll figure it out later. It's not that. Well, no, it's not that important. We'll figure it out later. Hey, hold your phone right quick. <laughs> Why are you crying, bro? Like you've never been to jail before for felonies. <laughs> what you say? For, for, they say that nigga said, ooh, ooh. They need to take you to jail. So you a you an accomplice. Felony, uh, now felony charges. And they felony charges. Ooh, ooh. I'm not gonna lie, bro. She's such a she. He probably thought they was with their dad, cause she probably lied and said they were. I'm not gonna lie. Come get you out. Your bond is about to be probably forty five thousand. You think this dude has four hundred? You think this dude has four thousand five hundred dollars? If he doesn't even have a phone and your phone is on three percent, you think he has five thousand dollars? Probably not. They won't be able to get out there. You're not even going to be able to get out today. You're going to jail. And look, I don't like people. I don't like to see people going to jail. I've been to jail a lot. And it's not a good feeling, but I've never been to jail for anything like this. And I won't because I'm not a weirdo. All right, come on. Right, come on. Call, call down now. Put your hand behind your back before I charge you with obstruction. What's wrong with you? You're resisting. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Sorry, like, that's this crazy. I'm telling you guys, like, I have been stuck. All right. I'm literally stuck. Do you have anything in your pockets? No, no, sorry. Okay. Dumbass. Can I get my No, you can go in the car, bro. You're wasting my time, man. Yeah, I'm gonna get you first. Okay. Thank you. He said he'll take care of the house, lock it up. What about the car? You wanna make sure how much keys to the car? What do you want? Nope, she's gonna let him drive the car around. He's gonna be selling weed out that mother. Can, can I speak with you? I'll have him come over here. That's all right. Yeah, sure. I wanna just yeah. real quick. Who Man. is Damn. I know. Burn. Burn. <laughs> That's what you should have said that when you when she told you she had five children, man. Damn. How many kids you got? I know you got some kids with your fine ass. Shoot, I got. I, hold on, hold on. Man. I, I got five kids. Damn. What's your What's your name, baby? Yeah, sure. Um, what's my name? Well, they call me Latasha. For real? Oh, yeah, bro. That's pretty. Man. Damn. Nah, nah, nah. So, uh, you said you had how many kids? Well, they said I got five kids. Man, damn. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Man, damn. 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 I hate this, bro. Y'all let me charge for my kids? Yes, ma'am. I mean, you'll go, you'll go see a judge in the morning. You'll get to tell him your side of the story, okay? But I mean, I'm, I'm saying, like, we just told him. We I, I, I understand. I understand that he yeah. could be he could be over there at yeah. court tomorrow if he wants to. Yeah, he can go up there and see how things turn yeah. out. 
my, you are never gonna see this nigga ever again. I'm just letting you know. I'm, whatever the bond I'm, is, I'm, I'm, I mean, whatever the bond is. Yeah, this is yeah, exactly, bro. His balls are empty right now, bro. You think he has the strength? That nigga, he's about to go get another. You got to go in front of the judge. I understand that you've been stuck, but we got to. Yeah, I mean, more where, importantly, where? the the things that was important was the kids. Okay. I, like, and I yeah. But, so. Why would I, I'm, that my house high, my landlord has come to fix my AC. I don't have AC in my vehicle. Bro, you don't have food in your house, bro. <clears throat> you don't have clean water in your house. All you got in the house is that wick ass milk. And you got two gallons of wick milk. <clears throat> and how much, how many gallons of milk do they give you on wick? I think they give you two gallons of, of, of milk on wick. And they're already two weeks old because you get wick on the first. I'm already knowing. They're not even open. And you got a one-year-old. And one-year-olds drink milk. Raw. So, bro, no. Like I don't. Like, my other baby. Like, everything just been crazy today. Yeah. Like, it's been crazy. Where was your other baby? My, my kids, they're with their, with, they're with their grandmother. I'm telling you, my kid's dad, he's been, he had been calling me, so I come up there because the end of the because he had swallowed some slime. Like, y'all can call them, y'all can do all that. Like, I, that's who I was. Well, we spoke to him. Yes. Earlier today, yes, that's like right, he's the one that he's the, he's the one that has the kids. Yes, that, and I know that's what she told me that she took them to you. I know all of that. Okay. So this nigga didn't even have a car himself. He has somebody else come take the. Kid. This is a ghetto situation. This is a ghetto situation, Doctor Umar Johnson. This is a ghetto situation. C Max, say it again. This is a ghetto situation. This is a get sharp say it. This is a ghetto situation. This is a ghetto situation. Like I said, as of right now, we're gonna have to take this, you know, one step at a time. We're gonna have to, you know, we yeah, got charges. Okay. Yeah. Have Nigga, to. you need to leave before they lock you up too, just for being with her, bro. And you probably smell like weed. You need to leave with that little ass t-shirt on, bro. With that soldier boy ass pair of pants you got on, man. Just leave. You already got her car keys, bro. Just leave like we already know you're going to do. You're going to get four five tickets in there. And when she gets out in two years, you're going to be balling. But you need to leave, sir. You need to do what we already know you're going to do. You're going to use her car for Uber Eats and, and DoorDash and <clears throat> get you a little couple dollars up and then get you another car. And then you're going to sell her cars for scrap parts, get you a camera, start your YouTube channel. Blessings to you. But you need to vacate the premises, sir. You're, you're, you're hindering their investigation, my man. You need to just leave, bro. There, there's no if ands, or buts about it, okay? Uh, I don't even want to know what happened. But, uh, yeah, make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe, what you want me to... Uh, 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 uh. React to Nexus and Moses. I'm the bang, you the bang, we the bang together, man. Let's let them brought to be the end. Peace. Gang, gang.